So, the last presentation for this session is on uh, oil extraction of from uh, oil extraction from Maduka longifolia seeds and evaluation of physicochemical properties, fatty acid profile, antioxidant potential, and sensory characteristics. Munasingha and Wansafala. Good morning to all of you. Uh, actually, today I'm going to discuss with you about oil extraction from Maduka longifolia seeds and evaluation of physical chemical properties, fatty acid profile, antioxidant potential, and sensory characteristics. So before moving to my main topic, I must mention that uh, this is not about something medicinal side. And actually, I put this for, uh, for cooking oil. I, I'm going to analyze about um, me seed oil in terms of uh, determining its, its suitability as a cooking oil. So I don't know why they have put into uh, medicinal plants category. So before moving to my main topic, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, what is Maduka longifolia. Actually, you might not have heard about this plant in its scientific name, but you have some awareness regarding its common name, that is me, because me plants uh, play a significant role in traditional Sri Lankan Ayurvedic medicine. So in um, my research, I mainly focused on analyzing the suitability of uh, oil extracted from Maduka longifolia seed oil as a cooking oil type. So here you can see the overview of my presentation. And in my presentation, I'm hoping to take you through introduction, objectives, materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusion and finally references. So as you all know, there is an increasing awareness in food consumption and people seek for quality, nutritional composition and health promoting foods. Therefore, there is a growing trend uh, for plant-based food products emerging the need to identify novel edible plant sources for the food industry. Among the edible plant sources, edible plant oils play a significant role uh, because there are wider applications in food preparations. So Maduka longifolia is a locally available plant which contains high amount of oil, edible oil in its seeds, but it still it is con considered as an underutilized uh, plant for plant seed type for edible purposes, mainly because of lack, lack of technical information on properties and potential uses. So the objectives of my research were, the general objective was to determine the suitability of underutilized Maduka longifolia seed oil for cooking purposes. And the specific objectives were to extract oil using a suitable method and to analyze physical chemical properties to determine the fatty acid profile of oil, to compare the antioxidant properties of Maduka longifolia seed oil with coconut oil, and to conduct a sensory analysis pur for the purpose of identifying organoleptic acceptability of oil. Let's see what were the materials and methods. Firstly, the sample collection. Dried fallen seeds of Maduka longifolia were collected from randomly selected single plant in North Central Province. And a coconut oil sample was purchased from local market to perform all the tests except determination of antioxidant potential. For that, a coconut oil sample was obtained from sun-dried copra by using a commercial scale mechanical coconut oil expeller. So then the seed oil extraction. Here, three methods were performed. First one is oxalate extraction with N-hexane. They are after pressing, and the third one is combined method, which involves both pressing followed by solvent extraction. And the physical chemical properties were determined according to the OCS methods and using standard methods. Saponification value, iodine value, peroxide, acid values, uh, melting point, smoke point, specific gravity and refractive index were determined. The uh, fatty acid profile were determined uh, with um, GCMS analysis. Here the fatty acid methyl esters were prepared and they were analyzed on gas chromatography, mass spectrometry. And the antioxidant potential was determined with DPPH assay method. Then final one is the sensor evaluation. This was done to determine the uh, organoleptic acceptability of seed oil as a cooking oil. Here, two sensory evaluations were conducted for two different frying techniques as deep fat frying and stir frying. Here, 30 untrained sensory panelists were used and the results were analyzed with fried mantis um, mint app software. Here you can the results and discussion part of my research. 
Here the N-hexane extract contained more than 52% oil, and the yield of pressing method was about 25.95%, and combined method yielded about 43%, 73%. So according to these results, uh, it is obvious that uh, solvent extraction has resulted the highest yield. And also it exhibits uh, Madhuka longifolia is a rich source of oil, Madhuka longifolia seeds, uh, actually. And also the potentiality to use as a commercial oil seed type. And you can see the physical chemical properties of Madhuka longifolia seed oil. Um, as you all know, saponification value is a uh, index of mean molecular weights of fatty acid comprising uh, uh, fat or oil. And uh, according to that, um, it has somewhat lower saponification value compared to the most commonly used cooking oil type in Sri Lanka, that is coconut oil. It's about 245 like value. That indicates me seed oil is composed of more long chain fatty acids compared to coconut oil. Coconut oil. The iodine value of me seed oil was uh, 56.28. It is somewhat higher than coconut oil. And that indicates me seed oil is composed of more uh, unsaturated fatty acids or double bonds. The ferroxide value and acid value were determined in cold pressed oil and they were acceptable for human consumption according to the codex standards. The melting point was somewhat higher than coconut oil. Um, that means um, it is especially suitable for, as I think it is suitable for confectionary fat because um, the melting point is somewhat below than the physiological temperature. And the smoke point is somewhat below than the coconut oil. It's about 177. Here I got about 169 for me seed oil. That indicates the degradation of um, me seed oil in cooking starts at a relatively low temperature than the coconut oil. And the specific gravity refractive index like values were also somewhat higher than those values of coconut oil, indicating that me seed oil is composed of more long chain fatty acids as well as more unsaturated fatty acids. So this is the antioxidant potential of me seed oil compared to the coconut oil. As you can see in the right hand side, the EC50 value obtained for me seed oil is somewhat higher than the coconut oil, indicating then radical uh, scavenging activity or antioxidant potential of me seed oil is somewhat lower than coconut oil. Uh, I should mention that I have lost some of my slides due to some technical errors, so I beg your pardon for that. Um, sensory evaluation, this is the results for sensory evaluation for deep fat prime method. According to that, um, the taste was significantly different uh, between the food, two food samples prepared with me seed oil and coconut oil, and the preference was for coconut oil. But there was no significant difference for all the other tested sensory attributes. Uh, in stir fry method, I have lost this slide. In that slide, I have mentioned that no significant difference for all the sens tested sensory attributes uh, prepared under stir fry method. So I can conclude that uh, solvent extraction is the most efficient method for oil extraction from me seeds. And also high oil content, which is more than 50% of um, seed weight, exhibits the potentiality to use as a commercial seed oil type. And the most of tested physical chemical properties were acceptable to use as cooking oil type. Even though the smoke point value, like values are somewhat lower than coconut oil, it can be acceptable. And it has somewhat beneficial, uh, I must mention then, fatty acid profile of me seed oil lo slide also have also, also lost. So um, when it has beneficial fatty acid profile with more than 50% unsaturated fatty acid. Also, even though it is, it is lesser, but it has a comparable antioxidant potential with coconut oil. And the uh, acceptable organolytic properties were also there in fried foods. So I'm going to wind up my presentation. These are my references. Thank you. The paper is uh, now open for discussion. Uh, this is regarding the technical problem. You know, better hereafter when you come, bring a backup. You know, like we don't know whether you are telling the truth or the false, right? So bring two pen drives rather than one pen drive. It's also, not a problem with the pen drive. Yeah, yeah, but I'm telling you, either version, like when you come, this is a technical problem, I'm telling you, like, what you believe, what you say, right? When you come to science, you can't do that. Too. Thank you. Yeah, uh, just uh, into what uh, Dr. Marikar said, 
I think uh, you have been provided uh, clearly with all these instructions before you come to the uh, uh, your presentations. The importance of having all your slides is because uh, uh, by only reading your abstracts, we don't know actually you have actually done this work. So only in, in the presentation that we can have an idea whether you have actually done those things. So it is uh, it would have been uh, a very good presentation if you had uh, all your uh, slides. So I think uh, like uh, Dr. Marikar said, uh, uh, make sure that uh, you uh, follow the instructions before you go to your next uh, conference. Uh, yeah. I have one question. Yeah. Uh, you have mentioned that this uh, you have you, this is uh, used for cooking. I don't know why it is coming under medicinal plants. I Do you know don't what know are the <laughs> applications of uh, this me oil in traditional medicine? Uh, as far as I know, they use for handi um, like things. <laughs> yeah, actually the me oil is used uh, for this anti-inflammatory anti activity for the kneecap problem. So those who have swelling in the knee, you just warm it and apply it. So you will get covered. And another thing is it's used as a food crack reliever. So you, when you, once you apply it, so the food crack will recover. So you don't need any food cream for that. Actually, <laughs> I don't need to know so about medicinal side of this plant because yeah, I'm from food science. It is coming under medicinal plant yeah, category I don't also. know why they have put this into this category. <laughs> I wonder why they have put into medicinal plants. Yeah, and another thing is this uh, expression of oil. So you just express it or you powder it and uh, what? the oil. The oil extraction. You have used solvent and uh, ex solvent extraction? expressed. Yeah. So you just expressed or you? I crushed it and after solvent extracted. Uh, there is a method that once you powder it and just uh, warm it and extract it, then you will get more oily. Oh, thank so you. So that is also another method. So yeah, you can thank try you. that. Also. Thank you. Uh, there are people with. Uh, food background here, I think they also can comment on this, uh, this presentation. And uh, also like uh, don't worry about coming this presentation to this uh, uh, session because now we are looking for health foods, right? So it's about health as well as food. Now this has medicinal properties so I think you have a more uh, added value if you, if you can show uh, medicinal properties. As you showed in uh, your presentation, the MUFA and PUFA plays a role in the, uh, the, the, uh, the prevention of various diseases and also uh, to, to keep the, uh, the, the health uh, status better. And uh, have you looked at uh, the omega-6 and omega-3 uh, concentrations? Yeah, uh, omega-6 fatty acids were not there, but omega-6 were there, linoleic was there. Right, okay. I have mentioned those in my slides, I but see. I have lost that slide. <laughs> Right. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, it's a huge tree. Yeah. Yeah, I think because in India they grow this plant in commercial scale, I think uh, in Sri Lanka also it is possible to grow it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is uh, a very good work actually, uh, uh, but I think the meat is very expensive, isn't it? Um, so we can't use it uh, for uh, confection. Not expensive. Compared to coconut oil? Compared to coconut oil? Anyhow. Because, because they are not growing it in commercial scale, the price can be somewhat higher than coconut oil uh, or something like Anyhow, that. I just want to say some, some, a few words to all these presenters. So you are doing very good work, but after you will study, it is not commercialized and it goes to the library, right? 
please do something with your results. You know, I'd commercialize, I'd either you produce some product or something like that. For the last 50, 60 years, we are hearing all these type of studies. Uh, at the end, somebody will take the benefit, not the Sri Lanka. That is my advice. Thank you. Thank you, sir.